About two years ago, I decided upon a shared power standard for my GBC modules. I started building new modules to that spec, rebuilding existing modules to it, and dismantling old modules that could not make it. With a recent rebuild of the Cellular Lipkin linkage lift, all my current GBCs have shared power to some extent, but how well does it actually work? In this video, I take a look at the shared performance of these modules. But first, I will cover the changes to the Pacellier lift. I made the structure more robust, and I added the shared power fittings, though both of these modifications added bulk. In the past, I still built some modules with minimalistic construction, but more recently, I have very much pivoted to overbuilt construction instead. Many of my current GBCs have similar bases to support the same shared power system. That being said, I originally did not consider shared power because a longitudinal drive shaft would intersect the wall at the bottom of the step, but I ultimately just made a one stud cut. I also decreased the cycle time of the lift and reduced its capacity such that the output looks less like batches and more like a stream. This also reduces the chance that balls get stuck in the throat of the output ramp, which did happen very rarely with the old design. Due to its balanced mechanism and low gearing, the Pacellier lift runs very smoothly when providing or accepting shared power. I will test everything with the single seller stepper as it represents the type of module best suited for shared power. Something with a reliable, simple, and light mechanism. The SSS itself has a small update. I reinforced the structure supporting the output ramp which could somewhat easily detach in the original design. Now let's look at my other modules from newest to oldest. Despite what I said before about the unnecessary counterweights, the multi-stepper version 2 actually generates more load than I thought, and not a constant one either thanks to the 4x4 mechanism. I don't think it struggles much running alone or even when delivering power, but it does seem to struggle when receiving power, and I definitely would not classify it as a light module. For a big module, like the Wave Stepper version 2, Shared power probably won't get utilized much, but the module actually generates very little load thanks to the heavy counterweight and the very, very low gearing. It ran very smoothly when powering and being powered by the single seller stepper. Still, the mechanism seemed to run slower than when I first built it, and I think I could afford to gear it up a little bit. The two gravity tensioned chain lifts work fine either way, the caveat being that they need directional input. I use the 
thick chain lift a lot for testing and display. And the anti-reverser initially intended for use with the slide and spin helps share power. The caveat with that being that the lift can't drive another module from the back. The slide and spin itself technically has shared power, but it can only drive modules and bi-directional ones at that. Like the Wave Stepper version 2, the Variable Batch version 2 generates not that much load, on average, for a fairly large module since the lifting element comprises just one vertical stepper. Nonetheless, triggering the batch mechanism generates a larger temporary load that definitely puts some strain on the drivetrain. As with the multi-stepper, the variable batch should probably limit itself to driving other modules. The auto dozer generates the heaviest load between all my modules, and it shows. It struggles to power anything else, and it absolutely cannot be powered due to the gearing. Or so I thought. The one-to-one -one gearing of the transmission shafts turns into a 5-to-1 gear up when driven, but it turns out throwing enough torque at the problem, an entire XL motor can move the boat, but only with woefully inadequate performance and motor-killing drivetrain stresses. Finally, the shared power ramps. I use these more without shared power because they need a high output module in front, but the relevant connections still improve handling. A ramp attached to a module doesn't get jostled nearly as easily as a freestanding one. As seen here, setups with multiple ramps and modules do work though, but I think in practice only two or three modules should share power at max. Even if I have three light modules with, say, 90% reliability, chaining them together with shared power effectively makes them one large module with something closer to 70% reliability. If one component fails, the entire block fails, and this is really the biggest problem with shared power. On that note, this is the end of the video. Please consider subscribing if you like what we do, and have a nice day.